we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, we who are like worms have pity on us. During, even in one day, we are so changeable. Help us to become patient. Help us to become like you, Father, who has no change. Help us to become someone who has no doubts. Help us to not have fears. May we receive all the good blessings that you give. May we become children who are guided. And all the dirty Satans in our family, may they not take a foothold. And may we receive the blessings of doing more well. May our children become chief in the world. May it be known that our families are a blessed family. And may we have assurance of salvation and with boldness may we receive a great reward. All those disasters and curses that have come, may they have nothing to do with us. And may we receive that blessing that you will watch over us. We believe that we will do more well. Surely we believe it will happen in Jesus' name. We thank you and bless. Amen. God is living. So what what, what is God? Is he someone who's going to die after a few years? He's eternal. So we say believe him, but it's me that doubts and it's me that changes. So it's me that's fake. And then we say it's God who doesn't do it. Even now you're changed. So if you have faith, whatever comes, if you're baptized, if you're dead, it has nothing to do with me. But you say some, a little bit of something and you don't see them because of their pride. Is that faith? That's demons and yet they don't know. Faith, in Christ you have to die by baptism. That is faith. Someone who's baptized, because they're dead, how can they feel upset? God always tests your faith before he gives you. He doesn't just give blessings. So Mark chapter 5, verse 35 and 36. Let's find that. You say, oh, I'm going to do something. Really? When I look at you, you're a demon. You're completely a fake. Okay, let's test you. Let's see how God tests you. Even those tests, it's not something that I do. If there's an opportunity, I, you know, I say something and, it, you know, it, it's exactly. There's no faith. They're completely a fake. So how can they receive blessings? So the Lord... If we're tied to our thoughts, that's all you can become, as much as your thoughts. So let's say to the person next to us, with what thoughts are you living? With what thoughts are you living? If you have the thoughts of a king, he'll make you a king. If you say, oh, you know, I only receive, you know, a thousand dollars in a month. So if they're your thoughts, that's what he'll make happen. So if you receive a thousand dollars and you add a few zeros to the end, who, who's going to say anything? So, if you have those thoughts, then God will make it happen exactly. That's Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. But because you have the thoughts of a beggar, that's why you're always like that. Because you're tied to your thoughts, don't be ruined. Have the thoughts in Christ, where God will give unlimitedly. It's because I'm not blessed that I'm not receiving. But if I'm blessed, I can receive unlimitedly. So, think about your relationship with God, then God will give exactly. But you look at people who don't do well, they're always tied up to their thoughts, their ruinous thoughts, not the thoughts in Christ, but thoughts outside of Christ. That's why you're ruined. It's not that you don't think, you need thoughts in Christ, not my thoughts, but the Father's thoughts who guards my heart. That's Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 and my thoughts. So Mark chapter 5 verse 35 and 36. While he was still speaking, they came from the house of the synagogue official, saying, Your daughter has died. Why trouble the teacher any more? But Jesus, overhearing what was being spoken, said to the synagogue official, Do not be afraid any longer. Only believe. Amen. So isn't 
Jesus funny. No one's even spoken to him, but he just he overhears them, them whispering. And he says, do not be afraid, only believe. So they haven't even asked him for counsel. Why is he being so hasty? No, truth at any time. You know, if it's not truth, you have to listen to, to everything that other person has to say. But the Lord here says, those people whose hearts already say she's dead, these wrong thoughts. So if you read, you know, all the way to 39, um, he says, oh, she's not dead. She's sleeping. But these people think that she's dead. And because of this, this is why your thoughts, they're always ru ruinous. You know, we say this easily, but to make this mine, into my actions, you need a lot of training. So if you go to, to do Taekwondo, you know, oh, if you hit it, that board's going to break. It's easy to say it, but when you do it, it doesn't break. Your hand hurts. So this has to be, um, you need to have that training. It's easy to say it. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, you just have to pick them up and throw them. Well, it's easy to say it. Oh, soccer. Yeah, all you have to do is kick the ball. You try to kick it straight. It, it will go, you know, it will go somewhere else and your foot will hurt. So this happens by training. And that's why this mystery of godliness is scary. This mystery of godliness, because you're not trained in this, there's nothing that that's working. So Jesus, even though he taught directly, he took them around for three and a half years. So if you have this heart of fear, there's nothing that's going to work. It says, do not be afraid. It says, only believe. But some people, you know, they leave their fear and they say, oh, I believe. But you're, you're afraid. You're worrying. You're anxious. And so if, you, if you're like that and then you believe on top of that, that's a lie. It's when you don't have fear, that is faith. And so 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, already if you have sin, evil, then, then you're worrying. You have fear. So because you're face, you're worrying, you're like, oh, should I cook? Should I cook this or not cook this? because your heart's tied up to a few dollars. So you can't escape from those beggarly thoughts, even though you should throw them away. But it's easy to say it, but does it does it happen to actions? No, and that's why your face, it's like some hardened cement. You know, even if you try to put a nail into it, it's not gonna enter. You look at people who don't do well, it's because they don't do well because of fear. Even though you say you believe, you shouldn't fear. So 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10, let's find it. If you believe and yet you fear, then your, f your faith disappears. So your heart has to become bold in order to not fear. So when do you become bold? It's when you're righteous, when you do forced their repentance. So because you keep hearing, you keep hearing the rebuke, you say amen with your outside, with your mouth, and your but your face is hardened, it's stiff, and and you, you're afraid. So you look like some doll, you know, just saying it. Because that's what you're doing, that's why you're not doing well. You know, people say, oh, one-on-one -on -one with Pastor Park, then it's easy to receive answers. That's because whatever's wrong, I quickly point it out. You know, you're, a li you're, a li you're lying, you're not smiling. So whoever I say something to, you have to hear it as mine. But if you say, oh, that's someone else's, oh, that's Mr. King's, or, you know, then there's nothing that's yours. Everything is mine. When does God lie? Even though the whole world may deceive and may change, I change, but God doesn't change. So why is it that I change and, and so I can't receive? Let's receive. He said to receive unlimitedly, so we should receive. He says, if you don't receive blessings, you're going to get in trouble. So you being in trouble, it's because you're not receiving blessings. If you receive blessings, then you don't get in trouble. Those worries disappear. Your problems disappear. It's because you're not receiving blessings that God's hitting you and your children are giving you heartache. Oh, pastor, you know, if we were given blessings, we wouldn't be like that. No, you keep making God into a liar. You say, I want to receive blessings. Then who's right? I want to receive blessings. God wants to give blessings. Who's right? Me? No, I'm wrong. It's God who's right. 
God wants to give, but we're not able to receive. That's why you're sick, you have problems. You know, your children give you a heartache, you've got a bad spouse relationship, your business isn't doing well. It's because I'm, I'm crooked. So it's me who has to match up to him. But you say, oh, it's God who's not giving. God says, if you don't give, you know, he says, if you don't receive, you're going to get in trouble. So, you know, you come for counseling. As much as you ask for counseling, that's how crooked you are. You're either going up or down or, you know, if you just came here, he'd give it to you. It's not God who goes back and forth. It's me. So this, and this is, and this is what the problem is. This is, so if you're not receiving, why is it that I'm not receiving? You need to think about realizing that. Don't say, oh, it's God who's not giving. Oh, give me God. You know, he's like, take it. God's always there saying, take it. It's me that's crooked that I can't take it. So where does this show up? Well, if I have fear in my heart, then I'm a fake. If, I, if I'm not matching up with my spouse, then I'm a fake. If my children give me heartache, I'm a fake. If there are problems in society, I'm a fake. So let's read together. For the love of money is a root of all sorts of evil, and some by longing for it have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Amen. So once the faith departs, you have worries, fear, anxieties. So if your face, your face, it's, it, it, it's, it's shown in your face. Oh, you know, I'm not receiving. So he's given, but it's, it's you that's spilt it and departed. Here, the springs are here, but it's you that's gone somewhere else. The springs of blessing are here, but you've gone somewhere else. And that's what your problem is. So if you're not receiving blessings, do you have faith or not? So you're going to hell. If you're not receiving blessings, you're going to hell. Receiving blessings is faith. If you have faith, you'll continue to receive. But because your faith has departed, that's why you're like that. But you don't understand this. Because my faith has departed and I'm worrying and anxious and fearful and I have the wrong thoughts, you know, the, of the world and 10,000 evils and you say, why, why don't you give me blessings? It's you that's departed. Even now I'm giving to you. Already the faith has departed. In other words, your heart has departed and yet you don't know. If you have a bad spouse relationship, oh, I've departed from the faith. I'm on the side of demons. I'm going to hell soon i'll receive d disasters soon i'm you know i'm making this bomb that i'm going to give to my children you have to quickly realize and so if you realize and you do according to the word then there won't be houses in korea where the spouses depart it's not me that wants to argue it's because the faith has departed and the demons make you argue so so it's not about receiving blessings if you're if you have a good spouse relationship and you're happy that's who he gives all the blessings to if you've got demons you know he's not going to give you if you he's not going to give you more blessings if you've got ten thousand evils in your heart and then he gives you more and you have tens of thousands then you're going to die you know if you worry you feel like your head's going to split you say oh what a headache oh my children they're such enemies you know, you're kicking up such a fuss over one or two kids. It's because I've departed from the faith. It's me that's made it so that I can't receive blessings. God keeps saying, take it. So it says, do not be afraid. So if you get rid of your fear, when do you, when, when does the fear disappear? It's when you entrust everything. That's when the fear disappears. That's when it's faith. And that's when it happens according to your faith. So it says, do not be afraid, only believe. And you say, oh, but she's dead. After you hear God's voice, instead of going that way, you listen to the demons who say she's dead. This is why you don't do well. At harvest, you know, you know, people serve their ancestors. That's great. You know, these demons during, during worship, they just depart. You know, how can you forsake Jesus and go? So you show that you're a demon. 
Do you like your ancestors' demons or do you like God? And they're like, oh, I like my ancestors' demons and they depart. Oh, what's going to happen if I don't go to my hometown? So who's first thing, God or the world? 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, you're a fake. Those households, you see if those children do well, if their lives turn out. That's what they keep doing with their actions. And yet they don't know. If you have demons, you don't know. They're the ones that have so many grumblings and excuses. You see these people who, you know, they choose to do all the things not to receive blessings. And they're the ones that say that they're not doing well. When does God make it so you don't do well? Even now, this child who went to a disabled school, now she's going to a just a normal school, so received a letter. So it's the same God who, who does these workings. Why do you have these wrong thoughts, this heart of fear? It's because you don't repent of the evil that's from your heart. And that's your faith disappears. It's me that gets rid of the, my blessings because of the filthy things from my heart. I kick away my blessings. And not just that, I kill all my children. And I make my children all foolish. I make them problems in society. You know, like that murder that happened. I make my children like that. And then you're shameless. It's so sad. This is when God tests you. Are you going to put God first or the worldly demons? You know, is it your parents first? Where, where are you going to go? So looking at your actions, you can see, oh, that's a dog. You know, they, they do that. You can't even say amen. But so that if I say you're a demon, then you just mimic the amen with your mouth as if you're a doll. How can you receive blessings then? God's saying to take the blessings. Oh, pastor, she's dead. It's all over. So you listen to the demons. You believe those words. God saying whether she's dead or not, he's saying, do not be afraid, only believe. But you scorn this. This is why you don't do well. But if you you keep being if you keep if you keep being told to repent, then you win over it. So then you look at people who don't do well. They do things whatever pleases their mood. Their children end up exactly the same. Just like that that young person who sinned. You know, why make your children like that? Why do you become parents like that where you're you're an agent of hell? It's so sad. Please let's live according to the word. If you want to live according to the word, you have to repent thoroughly. If you don't repent, you keep getting these fears. elementary school uh, the the middle school she went to a special school and then after doing four step repentance she went to a normal high school but God can make at any time make that person go to a special school again so someone who's normal can suddenly become crazy insane so you see these people who've been here for a long time these fake demons you need to wake up they choose the things not to receive blessings. They never put God first. Always their thoughts are first. They want to be completely ruined. Why live like that? So, you know, you say, oh, can't I live like that and go to heaven? How, how can you go to heaven if you don't have faith? That's demon talk. So because you have worries, which is evil, the faith has departed, so you have fear. So you're living according to your thoughts, that means you don't have faith. So there's nothing for you to receive but disasters. If you're not doing well, then you'll receive disasters and curses. That's God's promise. If you have faith, you'll do well. It's when you don't have faith, that's what happens. And yet you don't know. You see those people who can't receive blessings and who are suffering for a long time? Don't look at others, look at yourself. And then if you don't know, still, look at your spouse. You say, oh, because of them, I'm not doing well. No, it's not them. It's, it's mine. With spouses, it's mine. So some houses, they keep having a heart of fornication so that household doesn't do well. So from their ancestors, they were descendants of, 
of prostitutes or, you know, they got married several times. and So you can't win over that fornication. Yes, we all have fornication, but for those who it's very severe, you can't win over it. And so you end up having affairs. And as much as you do that, your problems have, your children have problems. But if you repent, but as soon as you're a bit crooked and you start to go up high and you have other thoughts and you look towards the world, then the, your child starts to sin because it goes down exactly. This is why you can't receive blessings. Not just that. Those people who are like that about money. If you have the foundation of this gospel, if you look at these demon worldly books, you can see, yes, the demons know too. It's just they don't have any answers. So God is such, his truth is so exact. Why do we keep worrying about the world? Because we don't cleanse the evil from our hearts. And so we worry and we're anxious and we kill all our children. So someone who's next to you who doesn't say amen, you look at their household. They call themselves a deacon, but they don't say amen very well. You look at their household, it's a complete mess. You look at their actions, it's a complete mess. It's exactly according to God's word. But you don't exhort them. Oh, deacon, the reason why your household doesn't do well is because you never say amen. So they are demons. You know, so you should teach them that, but you don't because you, that's not, you don't have love. You teaching that, is that for them to do well or to be ruined? But why is, you hate, why is it you hate to hear it? And why is it you can't say that? That means you don't have love. You look at people who don't do well, that's what they're doing. Oh, pastor. You know, it's always at this time that I fall asleep. That's why it's a demon. You know, you always skip out at mealtime. Later you'll die because you're starving. So who, who tells you to sleep at that time? It's because you, you're acting, you know, uh, oppositely. So don't try to match to me, you have to match to God. So let's fix this. So if something's not right, it's me that's twisted. I have to, I have to match up. So what are you like? On Sunday night, I can barely sleep. Why? If you're so tired, you're so weary and you collapse, you can't even get up. You know, I'd rather not sleep and, and then come to do worship. So I, I, go, I do things to the point of death. But do you try to force yourself to sleep? What kind of demon is that, that you're so crazy to sleep? It's better to force yourself not to sleep and receive blessings, but you do things oppositely. This flesh, who is it an enemy with? But you go off. You're crazy to go off and force yourself to sleep. And then you say that you have love for God. It's a complete lie. So looking at your actions, you can see, oh, what a fake. Oh, what a demon. And then soon there will be problems in that household. This is why they're not doing well. This is why those children are blocked. You can see clearly. When I give these witnesses, oh, me, I'm trying to force myself to sleep. It's because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm one with my flesh who's an enemy of God. So then all you have to do is, you know, change that. But you won't. Even now God says, do not be afraid. He says, only believe. If you get rid of your fear, then you're believing. If you have fear, then your faith has departed. It's not there. Even though you're taught this, you still don't know. So from today, let's have a new start. Why is it I have this fear? Because you haven't repented of what comes from your heart. You have 10,000 evils. There's 10,000 of them. So what doesn't apply then? Some, some religions talk about a thousand anxieties, but here it's, it's 10,000. So there's, you know, it applies to everything. So you see, if someone's lying down during mealtime, do they get to eat? No. If you don't eat, you'll die, and yet you're still falling asleep. Let's live properly. So if you go stick this up at home, don't talk about harvest. You know, have a new start as a new person. It says, do not be afraid, only believe. So if I'm not able to do this, write this up in big letters at home. Do not be afraid, only believe. So if you're afraid, then you're a fake without faith. But if you don't have fear, then you're true with faith. And then God will give to you according to your faith. 
And then later, if I ask you, there's no one who's written this up at home, no one who's doing this. If you don't do this, then straight away problems will happen. Straight away, they'll happen. To whom? To your children. If your children have problems, it's, it's exactly what you've done in your spouse relationship. It's come exactly. It's not them who's doing it. It's because you've passed it down. So let's wake up. So he wants to give so much. Why can't you receive? You can't even fix this one thing and then you keep expecting other things. So you're the most filthy thief. So if you're not doing well, you have to realize, oh, I'm so evil. Because I'm evil, that's why I'm not being released. If I have faith, it happens. If I don't have faith, it doesn't happen. That's God's promise. You sit there not knowing that you're evil without faith. So you have nothing to repent of. Even though it's 10,000 things, you don't even have 10 things to repent of. You don't even wash 10 dishes when you know you have to wash 10,000 dishes in order to receive but you don't even do that and then how can you expect to receive faith and to go to heaven so God his word isn't a lie he says you know it'll be like the time of Noah so let's so you say amen but your face you it's still the same uh, their face still looks the same as a demon so you're just lying if you're doing this properly, your face, it, it's, it shines. It's bright and it shines. So, you know, because you've got your lying ancestors' demons, all you do is deceive. Let's close our eyes quietly. So it doesn't mean you curse or grumble against your ancestors. Why? Don't say, oh, why did you pass these filthy things down? If you confess and say, that sin is mine, then all you have to do is change from a bad fruit to a good fruit. That is faith. So all of those shadows and doubts and worries and anxieties in, uh, to cleanse them, which cause diseases, and to pass them down to my children, to cleanse this all, to erase this all. You know, there's this young person who has cancer. Well, that's still better than you know a baby being born with cancer that's the times that we're in so why are you like this so I'm evil who kills myself and my children how can you just stay like that before a pastor was saying you know because Busan First Church they eat so many good things they're they're so filled with pride and arrogance you know, I don't know if your conscience is more seared, but no matter how much you're pierced, you don't flinch. You eat up yourself, your children. You're that evil and yet you don't know. Why is it my children don't do well? If I do this, how can, if I'm doing this, how can you be so, how, you're doing these things, how can you be so, so shameless? All you have to do is believe. He says, don't fear. That fear, God says to entrust. Father, I'm still looking towards the world. And rather than God, if something happens, I, I always put the world first. That's the evil person I am. In, instead of God being first, the world is first. Instead of God first, my thoughts and my worries are first. My, the, my worldly work is first. I've lived this life of a demon. And then... I grumble that things aren't working out. Have pity on me. How wrongly have we lived? That I don't even know I'm killing myself. That I'm harming my family. So when have I ever loved my neighbor then? Father God, today help us to realize. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Help us not to listen to the world's words. And to just because something seems urgent in the world to go seek that, rather to not be afraid and only believe. Receive blessings. Do well. Your children to do more well. May this promise become mine. Lord, every time I try to do this, it's my flesh that's my, my enemy. And I keep trying to sleep and I keep trying to not pray. And I still feel upset. And I have grumblings and complainings and excuses. These deep-rooted evil spirits, may they depart. May we swim inside of the blood of Christ and to wash it all away in Jesus' name. 
we thank you and bless. Amen.